Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi. <laughs> We're back. I uh -huh. Oh, look at all those that, those sticks and rupees and stuff that you lost. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, did you lose? No, no, you just put your rupees away. No, I just away. put my rupees away because I'm a big boy. Mm. Done in the first day. 72 hours remained. Duh. So, dude, I'm turning 28 years old in a couple days. I know. It's crazy. I'm 27, and I'm always like, oh, my God. I'm already 27. What the fuck? I feel like I was 14 yesterday. I know. Je oh, yeah. I was talking to Jen's birthday was last month. Yep. Um... Jen, I remember I was talking to you. You're 25, right? 27. We're You're the same age. Okay, um, I... <laughs> I freaking... I was just thinking to myself, we're not gonna be in our 20s for much longer. No, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Jen, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure years from now, I'm gonna look back... I'm gonna be listening back on this video. I'm gonna be in, like, my late 30s or early 40s listening back to this and be like, oh, how, how young... Naive. How naive I once was. <laughs> Um, let's go collect the money really fast and put it away. Mm. Might I've, as well. I've already been through my mid-twenties crisis. I'm glad that's over. Yeah. That kind of sucked. Luckily, I didn't... <laughs> Jen just scoffed. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have a mid-twenties crisis. But... I, I certainly did. I don't know if... It... Being with me! What? <laughs> Being with me. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, man. It was, uh... I don't know. I was pretty lucky there. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't know how many people have like a mid twenties crisis anyways. Sure, a lot of people. Really? Yeah, I think hmm. that's really common. I think a lot of God damn it, <laughs> I, dude, the skipping in this game. I think a lot of people it's more like early twenties crisis. Like oh god. Because it's like they're now because they're in college and they're like oh how am I gonna handle this? Oh. I had more of that in college, like in early twenty. I was like. I'm gonna graduate soon. I'm gonna have to get a job. I'm gonna go in the real world. Uh, I had some of that. I definitely I had, had some a lot of, that. of that. My mind was like, like, oh, w will I be successful getting a job in the real world as an animator? But but then I, after time passed, I realized, eh, I don't think I want to be an animator. I, mm. I want to be try for voice acting. Yeah. And here I am now. I'm. I don't need to. With my YouTube channel, I'm able to voice act and you know earn sure. money on my own without having to rely on other people to hire me so that's kind of cool yeah um of course i do need a lot of help from for the videos that i make i need a lot of help from people from me because but... i'm funny <laughs> it is it is true you are the the funny one here on royal goobs <laughs> no, i'm kidding you are both funny <laughs> eh, i'd argue that you are the funnier one but true, true, i, I, true. I, I got so my true. moments you know you're true that's so true i got my moments that's for very sure. true yeah one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just one of, dude, dude, one of one of uh, one of our viewers asked me. You, you remember the, you, you know how I, I, I said that I'd like to get my dick sucked by a Metroid yeah. one day. Somebody, one of my fans, actually asked recently. Hey, I was wondering, did you ever get your pic oh, pickles sucked by a Metroid yet? You told me about and I was that, like, yeah. uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah. For the record, if anyone is here from James's show, hi, J uh, hi, kids. Or, hi, people. They're not all kids. Hello, everyone. I think a decent amount of them are kids. Yeah. But, you know. If you're here, um, don't learn from us. Or don't <laughs> don't learn from me. James is pretty wholesome. I'm not. And two... Uh, don't, I, don't watch this show while your parents are around. Or yeah. Or at least have your earbuds in. <laughs> okay. And three, uh, whenever I rag on James, I'm just doing it for fun. We're, we're buds. Mm -hmm. We're best buds. Absolutely. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. fun to rag on your friends. Sometimes, and only if they're okay with it. Don't take that as an invitation to go rag on your friends. Some people are not cool with that. Dang, man, you're getting all the money now. All the money! And also, by the way, just because I, I always backtrack everything I say. I was memeing when I said it's not that hard to build a computer. Yes, of course, the first time you do it, it's going to be hard. And yes, it's okay if you struggle. Then, yes, I'm I, like, I was being a dick about it. Ha ha ha, it's mostly just a joke, okay? Don't worry, I'm fucking just chill, bitch. <laughs> you were just uh, a little mad because uh, some past, yes. some bad memories were some coming up. Some bad memories, yeah. <laughs> About building computers for other people. You don't actually think Cat Icarus is a dummy. No, 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 I, yeah. Of all of my friends who built one themselves, they all struggled. Hella. Oh, shit. Yeah, this one. Um... Real quick, I'm gonna pause the recording. Oh, okay. But we'll continue the episode. Because okay. we have pausing. Uh, once the animation's done, so it's not weird. <laughs> Eat more. Oh, this is so much fun, dude. I, I have my back. So, just 
uh, I don't know, not in full disclosure, know, just to keep you all in the loop, um, James and I, we still like talk on the phone every week during coronavirus. Oh yeah, no, we, we, um, we talked, we made sure to stay in touch, obviously. Yeah, we'd have like long discord calls, just catching up and shit. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we didn't interact. Yeah, but no, it's, 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 it's definitely not the same as we, we, we have talked like multiple times about the, the thought of maybe recording Royal Goobs over Discord each while we're in our own homes, but eh, whenever we then thought about it, it's like, eh, it's not quite the same. Yeah, it is. You don't get the same interaction online as you do in person. I can't, like, reach over and grab your nipple or anything. Also, you know? another <laughs> pro tip. I, you know, Sorry. I'm going to stop getting so fucking preachy. This is the last preach. Um, if, oh. Ooh, if I give advice to anyone, uh, seriously, hanging out with people... Uh, I, I am not encouraging anyone to go hang out if you are not fully vaccinated with the other other person. Mm -hmm. But if you are, um, hanging out virtually is just not the same as hanging out physically. Like you should, even if it makes you kind of uncomfortable, sometimes it's good to push yourself and try and hang out with people. If you have a friend that you hang out with in person and it's totally cool if you don't, but yeah, hanging out online and stuff, it's great. But like, I don't know. I just feel like part of the human condition, you'll just feel better getting out of your house and like hanging out with people in person. I mean, I, I can definitely say like, I'm sure definitely there are a lot of, a lot of my fans uh, can, can relate to me on this. When I was in like high school and middle school, I had a lot of social anxiety and I was always like, like, just, oh, yeah, right, I forgot about okay, this so we got one out of, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's 15. Freaky tentacle hair. So I think there are two in this room. Um, just just the thought of like going to like social gatherings, even with people I already knew, kind of gave me social anxiety. And mm. it's like, a, but I even asked you, uh, like that once. I told you oh, I'm feeling kind of nervous about it, and you were like, just yeah, you know, just go for it, man. Just step outside of your comfort zone. You'll feel good about it eventually. And you said I did. That in high and school or what? You told me that in high school once oh. over the phone. Yeah. And yeah, no, it's it, it definitely helps. Like I went to the party and I had a good time. Yeah, so. it sucks at first, um, but. Yeah, if you if you push yourself, uh, it's almost always rewarding. Like it sucks, it's hard, but I don't know. Most of the time, it's it's worth it. The, the thing about me, Ooh. oh, Ooh, what you say? <laughs> Who had you? Oh, they You well, know well, you know what dogs do? They run. Wait, what? You know what humans do? They run faster than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, references to older videos. Good time. Shrek three rules. <laughs> um, I uh, but yeah, no, like that's, yeah. It, oh it, it's what true. is with the camera, dude? Talking over Discord definitely helped kept me sane. Oh yeah, during sure. all of 2020 for sure. But you know, it's it, it's like eating a cupcake versus eating ice cream. You know, for sure. He doesn't get to actually lick my butt. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, speaking. I of, was very lucky. I had Jen here. Yeah, like see, see, part of me like was thinking like on the one hand, like having a, a significant other to live with you or anybody sharing a house with you during uh, a pandemic. It's like on the one hand, it's like yay, actual human contact. But then the <laughs> other part of me is like, uh, what, well, do you get sick of each other a lot quicker? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I can speak for myself. I I didn't really get sick of Jen. We kind of we have a lot of good boundaries, though. I feel like. Mm. You, you you guys seem like you're a couple who kind of has it together. You, you yeah, we don't, we're not really well. into like PDA. We don't really, I don't know. We're not like ah baby. We don't use pet names. Yeah. We're pretty chill. We're just like really good friends. Who I, I've never seen you and Jen. I don't know if I've ever seen you and Jen hug. Who also like to get romantic. I, I've never seen you her sit on your lap or anything no, like I that. Don't do that. No, we're <laughs> just not really into that. Like, see, see, that wouldn't bother me if I, if I that wouldn't bother me personally. No. But uh, I, okay, I, we're at three. Oh, it, it tells me. Okay, we need fifteen. I just remember when we were playing Ocarina of Time. I kept saying like, I, I said at one point like, you guys don't even sleep in the same bed. You're like a nineteen thirties <laughs> couple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how non PDA you guys are. <laughs> Lol, kick W. It kind of reminds me of uh, the funny thing is every once in a while we won't like every once in a while she'll be like I'm. I'm so tired, I'm gonna sleep like shit. So she'll like sleep on the couch or like I'll sleep on the couch or something. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, I mean, most of the time we do share the same bed, but yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's so funny. But I think because of that, like, I mean, it works for us. What works for us does not work for everyone. Um, I think, I don't know, for me, I'm just like, I'm pretty laid back. And I think Len, it, it, <laughs> Jen, Jen is, I try to say, what were you saying? 
<laughs> I tried to say laid back and Jen. Jen is laid back, so Len. I said I said Len. Um, because of that, I'm Len. Jen's Len. Um, because of that, um, it, it just it works for us, dude. Um, like I don't know if I had someone breathing down my neck all the time, like what are you doing? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? I would fucking go nuts. And I couldn't handle that either on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, you know, even if, like, you live together, it's like, you, you each need to have your own lives, too. You can't just yeah. rely on each other to feel fulfillment. Dude, seriously. Uh, not to make this whole, like, series the Flame Elliot's Friends show, but I swear <laughs> to God, dude, a lot of my friends, like, when they get into relationships, they fucking disappear. You know what's terrible? Just, like, only having one social relationship at a time, like... I, I don't even care if you're in love, dude. You should still keep in contact with your friends and stuff. I, I'm not talking every day. I'm just saying, like, say hello. Like, I don't know. Here and there. That, that, that reminds it's me of... Uh, I don't know. Did you ever watch regular show? Um, yeah. Very rarely. But, yeah, with the blue bird. Yeah, with Mordecai and Rigby. Yeah, I like that show. The, there, was a, there was an episode. I, I actually binged, like, the first four seasons of regular show <laughs> last year. <laughs> um, no! I, I uh... Whee! I, uh, there was an episode where Muscle Man and his girlfriend were feeling so attached to each other, and they were like, no, we need to prove to each other that we can actually give each other enough distance, and not, if our relationship is gonna work, we need to be able to give each other space. So they yeah. asked their friends to, like, hold them down, like, chain them down, so they, <laughs> they would not go to see each other, and eventually they succeeded, and they're like, nice. yes, we could do this, babe! Yeah! yeah dude. She's, I can't remember how it hurt. What his girlfriend said. Yeah. Charlene, I think was her yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. Charlene. <laughs> I for, I love the joke when like they're holding a pu they're holding a party for Muscle Man. Yeah. They turn off the lights and you hear a zip sound in Muscle Man's like, imagine the look on his face when he comes in this room and we're all naked. <laughs> and Benson's like, uh, it's not that kind of party, Muscle Man. He's like, oh, <laughs> don't turn on the lights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I don't know, man. I. I'm happy for my friends when they, like, find someone, you know, to get romantically involved in. But at the other t hand, I'm just like, dude, like, don't sink all of your... Like, I don't know. It's just, like, especially... You're probably thinking about, like, high, for your friends in high school, right? No. You, oh, Friends yeah. in college, even now, man. Like, yeah. I think some of them, they've just never been romantically involved. So um, it was, like, their first time. So for them, it was like, whoa, yeah. this new magical, amazing feeling. But oh. then it's their second time and their third time. Like, oh, dude, it, yeah, it... Whatever. I, again, I don't want to flame people, so I, I won't really bring up specifics. But yeah, it's kind of sad because then it won't work out after like six months to a year, and they'll come crawling back and they're like, "I need someone to talk to," and I'm like, "I'm here, motherfucker." But like, bro, uh, it's like you're just here to talk to me now that yeah. your relationship is done. It's like, okay, so you're, yeah. you just need me for for a feeling of like getting rid of isolation. Yeah. You don't actually want to be my friend. Yeah. Both people. <laughs> yeah, bruh. We're giving a lot of advice to the kiddos this episode. We are. I should we? shut the fuck up. I'm no, a no, moron. No, 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 no. I, I think it's a good thing, dude. I'm a big moron. No, I, I think it's a good thing. It's just like... <laughs> what? Oh. Awkward. I, I know my April Fool's video was maybe a little sappy near the end with its kind of lesson of the day, but no, I, I think... Yeah, I'm not trying to do a lesson today. I'm just trying to give out advice. There, there's, there's an appropriate time for that stuff. I, okay, I think you're five. doing a good thing. So again, I think we need 15. I know there's one under there. I don't think we can get it until we make the water clean. Oh, uh, okay. So, oh, so you gotta complete the temple, then come back in. Correct. I so see. we gotta bring the fire over here. I think our house sticks, please. Okay. You pretty much know this game like the back of your hand. Yeah, dude, you? I'm actually surprised I know this temple so well because like, I, How do you remember? I don't know. Like it's seriously like muscle memory right now. I'm like, oh yeah, this door, I need a key over here. and to go here the second temple also i remember when i did it in 3d majora's mask i was like there's no way i'm gonna remember all this but i did because the <laughs> goron temple is crazy you have to like go up and down and then knock the rings out and oh that temple's kind of a pain in the butt for me yeah it's not like god awful but god it falling down and having to go back up uh, yeah. it, it, it makes me glad that like in games like mario odyssey i, I love it how there's like once you hit a checkpoint flag you can teleport to it whenever so like if you if you're climbing like a really tall tower and you fall off you don't have to climb all the way back up. You can just teleport over there in an instant. What game? In Mario Odyssey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, Mario Odyssey is so good. I should play it again. Mario Odyssey is good. Oh, so good. I, 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 I don't love it quite as much as some people do, but I, I certainly like Same. it a lot more than Mario Galaxy, <laughs> mm. which I, I know you uh, you prefer Galaxy personally. Yeah, dog. 
Yeah. I got a compass. I'm gonna find things. I get. A, I get a feeling they'll be. They're making Odyssey two right now. Or, oh yeah. You know what? Hmm. Actually, you know we are about 15 minutes in. Should we talk about Bowser's Fury in the next episode? Sure. All right. I'm gonna leave this room with my feet, in my hands. <laughs> they're okay. And maybe my penis. They're okay. Link doesn't have a penis. Oh, he doesn't. You know what's sad? What? That Saria will never get to grow up. Oh my god. And she'll never get to have kids. <sighs> and she'll never have those feelings of love. And she'll never get to experience. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Hey guys, go watch our Ocarina of Time where Jane said some hot garbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs>